How do you grow an Instagram in 2024? That is a question I think a lot of creatives are asking themselves. To me, Instagram is dead. And I've been posting regularly for the past several years on the platform. Instead of a gradual increase, I've been on a gradual decrease, or at least a stalemate in terms of growth and exposure. Are my photos the best? Certainly not by a long stretch, but whenever I take a few good photos that I'm pleased with, even they don't reach the same audience they once used to. 2024 has been the years of 9s and 10s. Not many of the photos I've shared have surpassed that much exposure in terms of likes or engagement, and this has been a common trend. Only two years ago, I was able to post photos of a similar nature and the engagement was higher. So what has changed? Firstly, algorithm changes. Instagram's ever-evolving algorithm has made it increasingly challenging for content to reach your audience organically. And this has seemed to have been their common goal since 2015. Am I right? Remember whenever you posted a photo and all your followers liked it, engaged and left a comment on it, shared it with like-minded people, and you've seen the content of people you followed instead of the suggested content that is selected by Instagram and pushed to you? Yeah, that's mostly to do with saturation. There's over a billion active users and the platform is saturated with content. Your posts are just getting lost in the shuffle. And now with the prospect of paid ads, I think you know the whole Instagram is trying to force people down. It's like trying to be heard in a crowded room where everyone's shouting. And realistically, photo versus video, Instagram wants that retention. Do you remember when you went to check your phone for two seconds and now you're three hours deep in TikToks and Reels? Yeah, pure brain rot, which leads to the next point of content overload. People's attention spans are shorter than ever due to the constant influx of content. Standing out amidst noise is no easy feat, and that's a sad reality because Jimmy will want to watch that five second reel instead of a five minute video. This year, I decided to do the 365 challenge, or 366 in this year's case, also known as the photo a day challenge. I set it mostly as a challenge to myself to be able to get out and create more. However, that's been somewhat difficult due to a number of factors, the weather being one, yet I'm still persisting. So far, I've learned that consistency is not everything. I'm flooding my page with daily content, and some of it's going unnoticed, which actually led me to make this video. And that's difficult not to get bummed out by low engagement numbers, despite all these large creatives telling you to not worry about the numbers and just post for yourself. While that is true, only creating for the sake of likes, your content is going to feel threadbare and not develop that natural engagement. But are you trying to tell me that if some of the top dogs posted something and only got two likes on it, would they be pleased or would they start to feel that same feeling of self-doubt? It's a downward spiral that Instagram has created for a lot of people and it's not a nice feeling. Instagram has, where you can reach that engagement and make those connections. You hear people talking about Vero or TikTok or Twitter, but at the same time, people are choosing to stay on Instagram for a reason. I love being able to schedule my posts after a batch editing a photo shoot so much more enjoyable and streamlined the process that exporting, dropping photos onto Google Drive, downloading them onto the phone, then uploading a post. It's night and day difference. Are there any other apps that let you do this? In closing, I think I miss what was once there, how enjoyable Instagram engagement used to be. I don't want to have to be forced to make my photos into videos for the sake of engagement or exposure. I just want to share some of what I create with people who enjoy the same things and be shown the content that I follow instead of these suggested posts that are unrelated to anything that I've followed before. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. What are your suggestions and thoughts on the current state of Instagram? And do you think it will get better or worse? Have you any other suggestions about alternative apps where you can grow and engage with other people who enjoy the same art of simple photography without the bog down nonsense and forcement of creation on video content? Anyway, that's my thoughts for today. See you next time.